What is up YouTube? That's it here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about what I believe is the scariest Pokemon I've ever fought in the first round of Pokemon tournament. For those of you that don't already know, I've been playing competitive Pokemon for over 15 years. I started going to tournaments around 2005, 2006, and there's been one Pokemon that has been the bane of my existence in the first round of singles tournaments, VGC tournaments, regionals, you have it. And that is actually Cloyster. Starting in Gen 5, Cloyster got a move called Shell Smash. Shell Smash doubles your Pokemon's attack, special attack, and speed at the cost of one stage of defense and special defense, and holy moly, does this make Cloyster a sweeping machine. Again, it doesn't really matter what format you're playing in. If you're playing singles, if you ever give your opponent a free turn while they have a Cloyster out, you're basically just going to get set up on, and unless your Pokemon is super, super bulky and can resist the uh, Icicle Spear that hits five times thanks to the ability uh, skill link that Cloyster has, also it gets access to like a bunch of other five hit moves. You're basically just going to get swept by a Cloyster in singles. As far as doubles is concerned, you compare Cloyster with a redirection user, a mat block user, a fake out user, and again, if you set up that shell smash, Cloyster just becomes a sweeping machine. It's also a super good Pokemon when paired with a bunch of different items. It can have a focus sash to make sure it can get up a shell smash safely. It can have a wider so it's not sacrificing its defenses, or it can even have a king's rock. So Cloyster is one of those Pokemon that has garnered a ton of respect for me. I also love using Cloyster, and again, it is one of my favorites, but there was a small stint right around the time 2014 going into the 2015 season where I fought Cloyster in the first round of three regionals in a row. Now remember back then, Pokemon VGC regionals used to be best of one events. And again, there's nothing scarier when you're preparing for a regional that you have to pay hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to travel to and all the practice required to beat specific matchups and your opponent's just trying to get that free win with Redirection Cloyster. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take a look at a replay I have from a 2014 regional. And you can see just how scary dealing with a team that uh, our opponent has is really it's it's such a scary situation and again the type of players that just want to risk it all and go all in on cloister those players are going for hail marys on turn one and hopefully this can accurately describe uh, the fear that this pokemon puts in a, a best one mentality i went for the bait here i expected well this is watch i went for the discharge she did not expect me to be scarfed and you know, Matt Block only works in the first turn, so I knew I'd get the kill on Cloyster. I'm very glad it didn't have a Sash. He later revealed to me that it had a King's Rock, which is great in singles, not that best in doubles. And you see the lonely Yurinja, who he then later, I think, said had the Sash, is left to use the Matt Block, and that just really isn't optimal. And now, next turn, he, his Greninja is pretty much going to die to the Rotom, who's Scarped again. And that's pretty much it. If you want to see more little videos like this where I talk about my personal competitive Pokemon history, think about let me know in the comments. Think about leaving a like if you can. It would really help me out. I know my buddy Moxie Boost that has been covering general Pokemon lore, and I don't want to step on his toes too much because I'm really happy to see him doing so well. But I also wouldn't mind telling some, you know, little stories about my personal experiences at tournaments. So if you want to see more little videos like this, think about leaving a comment. Think about letting me know. And other than that, Thank you for watching and I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out.